What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Eat Sleep Drive and you haven't seen this car in a while. Remember my LS Swap 240SX? It's been in hibernation for the winter because this chassis is super, super, super clean and I did not want it to see any salt. Hell, it doesn't even see rain, much less salt. So anyway, there are a couple things that this car needs pretty soon here um, that are just gonna make it way better to drive in general. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna fix it up, make it as good as it can be and it will pretty much be complete. The first thing that we need to do is swap out this driver's seat. Now, you can see a stock S14 seat over there. These are R32 Skyline seats. Uh, Non-GTR, obviously, I think they're GTST seats. But, um, and as cool as that is, uh, unfortunately, when you put a JDM seat in a uh, American car, in the sense of you have two seats that are made to be for a right-hand drive car and you put them in left-hand drive, what you have happen is the now driver's seat was the passenger, meaning that it doesn't adjust in any of the ways that regular driver's seats adjust. And then the now passenger seat, which was the driver, has all the adjustability. So the problem with that is I'm only 6'1", but I can barely fit in this car, especially with a non-adjustable driver's seat. It can obviously go like, forward and backwards and tilt and stuff like that, but it's not nearly as low as the stock S14 driver's seat, and there are there is some more adjustability with that. So I bought a stock S14 driver's seat. We gotta swap that out. It'll make the driving experience so much better. Now, moving on to the next order of business, I never fully fixed the speedometer in this car. Basically, right now, it's getting the stock signal from the T56 trans, which is different than the signal it's expecting from a standard 240. So if you're going like 20 miles an hour, it thinks you're going like 80. <laughs> uh, so it's way off, and fortunately, we can adjust that. Um, I purchased this thing, it's called a Dakota Digital something or other and uh, basically what it does is i don't even know if you could see it down in there it's kind of just hanging down but um basically what this little device does is interrupt that signal and you can tune it if it's reading you know just for example zero to one and it needs to be reading uh one to ten you basically like can adjust this little dial and dial it right in so that the speed is accurate. So I'm gonna test it with a GPS unit and kind of do some tinkering. I'm gonna need uh, help from a friend to do that. I can't really do that while I'm driving. So once we have the seat fixed and the speedo fixed, the only thing really left is the alignment. Now this car has feel coilovers on it, as you can probably tell, because it's fairly low. It's not stanced out or anything, but it's fairly low. And um, when the previous owner put these on, he never aligned the car. So it's gonna get an alignment. We're gonna to go to my favorite shop, Turn and Concepts, get it aligned, and then it should be pretty golden. Uh, I'll give you guys sort of my driving impressions of the car then because it'll be like basically done then. I might even sell it. So if you guys are interested, hit me up uh, on all the various platforms. But uh, let's dive in, let's fix the seat first. We'll move on to the Speedo then, and then we'll go get it aligned. I wasn't super stoked to have mismatched seats, but fortunately they're not wildly different in color or design. You can see when I had both next to each other how much lower the stock S14 seat was due to being the proper driver's seat for the car. All right, let's try the seat out. I'm taking my shoes off because this carpet it's brand new, minty fresh. I need to find like a, uh, a mat. Oh, but yes, thank God. Okay. Before literally just sitting here, my head was touching the ceiling uh, with the other seat. So I'm already in a much better position. Let's see if we can adjust this a little bit better for a pretty solid driving position. Definitely, definitely way better. My head is no longer hitting the ceiling, which is really nice. I'm definitely lower. So that's awesome. Now it is time to fix the speedometer. And for that, I'm gonna need a friend. So let's go get my buddy Adam and fix the speedo. 
Will you help a fellow Nissan enthusiast out? Well, I have to. Come on in. I just kind of like. Oh, came okay. out of gear. Hey, when that happens. Also, you hit the dots and you're dead. You're dead. Breaking Survey two. says you're dead. Ignorance is bliss. <laughs> Ooh, that two way hitting. See, look at we're going 90 miles an hour right now. Okay, According so to my I speedo, can you see it? <laughs> I hit down. So, all right, so here's what we're gonna do. You're at 937, whatever that means. What the hell does that mean? Um, oh, it's like got a reading on it? Yeah. Oh, okay. So Adam has the little special box in his hand. I'm gonna put these windows up, otherwise we're not gonna be able to hear us. So he's got the special box in his hand. And he's got the GPS on his phone. And, well, this is a stop sign up here. What's it? If I go left, do you think I'll be able to go like a constant speed for a while? Uh, for a little while. It okay. keeps on saying to go down, but I don't see your, how they're fine because I've been holding the down button. Oh, you're holding it down? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, 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 good. Nine, it's going way down. It's gone from 900 and now it's 450. <laughs> okay. All right. We're coming to a stop, so hold on. So, I guess if we go, I'll just go like, well, I'll, I'll do, according to this, 35 miles an hour on the GPS, like the phone GPS, which, is, no idea how accurate it is, but 33, 34, 35, okay, I'm going to try and hold it Jesus. right around here, and it says we're going 70, <laughs> and we're going down. I like down. the better one, it was 120. Yeah. Uh, did it stop? Yeah, did we hit the bottom? It stopped at 250. It won't go any lower. Are you freaking kidding me? So it really would have helped if I actually read the instructions first. It's a little more involved than I initially thought, but after reading what I should have from the beginning and a lot of trial and error, we eventually got it spot on the GPS speed value. For those of you who may be putting an LS in their 240 and want to know the values I eventually got to work, here they are. Okay guys, we're here at Turnin Concepts to get the car aligned. Uh, these guys are my favorite tuning shop in Cincinnati. If you're anywhere near the Cincinnati area, go here if you need something done on your car. But let's go inside and get this thing sorted out so it drives way better than it does now. Now when Eric started to get everything dialed in, we did run into a small problem. Even with the coilover top hats maxed out, we couldn't get more than one degree of negative camber up front. This was obviously no bueno, but Eric swapped out my top bolts with camber bolts and was able to get way better results. I could have gone with as much as negative four degrees, which I thought was overkill for the street, so we settled on 2.5. One quick note, he lined the car with me in it. This printout came after I had already got out of the car. Well, that's it guys. We got the Speedo dialed in. Huge thanks to Adam. With this seat, now that I actually fit, and I don't hit my head on the ceiling, along with the alignment, this thing is quite fun. And I actually think I might hold on to it for a little while. Um, it's sort of a shame that I didn't do this earlier. Uh, I'm, I'm sort of embarrassed by that. I really should have got an alignment earlier on, uh, but just didn't drive the car that much last summer and never got around to it. Doesn't matter now. This thing is great to drive now, a lot of fun. Um, just like handles awesome. Everything I remember from my last 240 and it has the power with the LS and of course the wonderful noise. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I think I'm gonna keep this thing around for a little while. So uh, you'll probably see it a little bit more on the channel here. 
Maybe we'll do a track day or something in it. But if you guys want to check me out in between episodes, check me out on Instagram at Eat Sleep Drive TV. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you guys on the next episode. See ya. All the things are all the things are synced. That's my clapboard. Don't laugh at my clapboard. Such a peasant. Why is that? Why is that bad? It's fine. Because you need like the legitimate like thing. I'm gonna carry that around. Yeah. The clap works. Yeah, I thought you were. Premiere Premiere automatically syncs it. I thought you were professional.